H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Let's say string str1, let's say hi. And I put this within semicolon, double quotes rather. Not semicolon, double quotes. Okay, and I have another string str2 which is equal to just high. So you have one string with high exclamation mark and another string with high only. Now let us compare these two strings. The comparison is done by using comparative operators. How do I use it? So, uh, so str1 dot equals equals str2 now for string formats I cannot use the comparative operators like this I have to use the different methods present in the string class so one of the method is your equals method okay please understand this so I'm specifically showing you for string because how do you compare two strings now for comparing two strings you cannot use the comparative operator signs the compar comparison is done by the methods present in the string class. Now remember if I have told you guys earlier also that every class have methods and this is the concept of oops that classes will have methods. String is an inbuilt class of Java. So it will have methods. One of the methods is equals. So I am trying to compare is the string of this is equal to the string of this. Obviously this will be false because this string has high followed by exclamation mark this does not have it so if i run this class file right now after saving it i'll get false similarly syso i want to compare string one dot equals there are a lot of these are nothing but different methods of this string class so i can go and check out Mm. equals ignore case that means I'll ignore the upper case and lower case present in both the strings so it is nothing but the equal method only trying to say that this particular string is equal to this string only but the difference is that it is it is going to ignore the upper case and lower case present in both the strings but out here if you see the strings are not equal it will ignore the upper case and lower case but at the long run it will try to see that if both the strings are equal or not it is not equal so this will also show me false so why it is showing me true oh i am comparing string one with string one only so let us compare string one with string two then it will show me false so it is ignoring the upper case and lower case, but it is trying to check out that both these strings are equal or not. Excuse me. Next is that I want to compare again the strings. str1 dot. The moment you put dot, all the methods of the string class will come. So what are the different methods is there a greater than method or a less than method or a uh, not equal to method because as i have told you earlier we cannot use the comparative operator signs so we have to use the methods present in the string class one of the methods is equals other methods which i can use so i can compare one string with another string so what is the string that i want to compare with string 2 so this comparison, if I hover my mouse over the compare to method, it compared two strings lexicographically. 
the comparison is based on the unicode value of each character in the string okay the character sequence represented by this string object is compared lexicographically to the character sequence represented by the argument string the result is negative if the string object lexicographically precedes the argument string result is positive if the string object lexicography follows the argument the result is zero if the strings are equal okay so it will show me zero if the strings are equal it will be positive if both the strings are lexicographically uh, similar it will be negative if once the argument string precedes the the string from which it is getting compared to so it is not going to tell me that what is the difference in terms of strings it will be either negative positive or zero zero will be thrown out when both the strings are equal negative will be thrown out when both the strings are not equal and the argument string that means this particular string or this particular string rather this is the argument string is lexicographically uh, you know forward than your the string with which it is getting compared so if i save this class file and run it i am getting one positive this is the positive means the positive result what do you, what do you mean by positive result so we'll get positive result the result is positive integer if this string object lexicographically follows the argument string <laughs> excuse me so we will look at the different methods of the string class later on but in order to compare string datas or string type of datas we only have to use the methods of the string class and that is why i took the string out here in this particular example okay now coming forward i can compare basically let's say uh, two values like this also uh, let's say syso ut sys out let's say is 23.57 less than 25.6 so according to me less than sign this is nothing but a comparison of double formats so the result will be true because it is obviously less than 25.6 so if i run the class file i'm getting true this is nothing but for the double format please understand that and when you want to compare two strings the methods of the string class has to be used you cannot use the comparative operator sign okay similarly let's say i want to compare two characters so c is greater than sorry d so this would be nothing but a character data type please understand that now if you want to understand character data type we have to open up first of all the ascii table as we have seen earlier also so let us open up the ascii table for c and d This is the extended ASCII table. Yeah, this is better. So the character is defined out there. So I want to see C and D characters value. Lower case C is 99, lower case D is 100. We can see that where I'm hovering my mouse. So I'm trying to check is 99, you know, greater than 100. So let us see what is the result thrown out in the console of Eclipse. False, because the, the decimal value for the ASCII character C is 99 and the decimal value for the ASCII character D is 100. So 99 cannot be greater than 100 and that is why the console is showing me false. This is how we do comparative operators. If you have any questions, please write to us. Thanks very much. I appreciate for the time.